Hello everyone and welcome back to our Birds in Albion England DNA series. I'm so excited for this one because we're going to have our three games in today's episode and we're going to see just how tired the players get. What we're going to do in this one is we're going to make sure that we do two recovery sessions after the after the Bolton game and we're going to do two recovery sessions after the Mill game and try and see if that's enough for us to uh, to recover without us having to rest players and take their sessions away in those days that they could, they could be training. That's what we're going to do. In terms of off-camera results, as you can see, on-camera it was very good in the first two games. It then got a bit a bit precarious, I think's the word. We, we lost three games in a row. It was looking awful. I did a little friendly in the two weeks between the QPR and Sunderland game. We then won two in a row, but they're both home games. So I, I thought that it was good, but we're still not too sure. But big news, big, huge news. We're going to have our first academy prospect in the Burton Albion England DNA model playing the first team. Yes, John King is going to be our starting striker. He came off the bench in a game for me recently, and he's going to start this game. We're going to see how he's going to get on. I have a bit of faith he might be all right, you know. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see how he goes. Basically, Lewis Moult is out injured, and he was by far my best striker. I played Winnell, who did score a few goals, I think, in the Cup. So his goals looks a little better than it really should be. So Winnell's... If I didn't tell you that, you think that Jack just play Winnell. He's doing all right. Yeah, he's it's lying to you. The stats are lying to you in this save. We don't the stats don't lie to us in money, but they do here. You know, context is everything when it comes to stats in football. Terry Taylor is going to be suspended, which is not great. So Gilligan's going to play, and then we'll just do a bit of that. And that is going to be our team. Yeah. So in terms of the league table, we are bang mid table, exactly mid table. We are five points off top, one point off the playoffs, and six points off of the relegation zone. So not a bad start. It could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Well, let's get into it. Three games in today's episode. I'm looking forward to this. I'm not going to do a review of the train in this episode. I'll leave that for the next one. So in the next episode, I'll make sure it's the 1st of December, I think. We roughly when it'll be something like that. Let's have a quick look, actually. Yeah, I think in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll play Fulham and Sheffield United, those two games there. And then we'll do a player review last of the training. So we're not quite as far as having to do Wigan and Stokes. We'll try and get the games a bit closer. So we'll miss a good chunk of games. But again, I've said this before. We're going to play these three here, actually, aren't we? So in fact, it's not even that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's fair. You're not going to miss that many matches now I think about it because we're doing three here but like even if we do it like it i don't think that even between now and then our situation is going to change i think we're going to be a little bit above the relegation zone but right in a relegation fight which is where we are right now i mean if we put off a miracle and got ourselves in a promotion race that'd be hilarious and brilliant but could we go up again maybe if john king starts banging him and who knows right then so today's team then is going to be Garrett in goal with Shaughnessy, Hughes and Hamer across the back. Smith, Kellerdone, wingbacks. Lacking, Gilligan holding with Powell, King and Victor up front. Let's get into the game. I'm excited about this. But one at home, I expect to win, to be honest. We're in a bit of form. I don't know how John King's going to do, but we're going to see. I just think this tactic is going to suit him so well, which is why he's sort of been given a early push here. It's probably not the best thing for him, but I want to try him because, because of the injury to Malt. I think it's worthwhile just giving him a go. And then when Malt comes back, I'll take him back out and put him back in the rating so we can just keep training and improving all the 21s. Assistant manager says, we're on a good run. Got that impressed me. Okay. Bolton are going to deploy a 4-3-3 single pivot. Okay. First highlight here, then Bolton have got it. They're going to mess around with it at the back. Hopefully they can lose it from that. Thomason gets it, plays it across the pitch for them. Bolton's on the ball. We're going to press out a bit late there. Come on, we'll be quicker than that. We'll be back. Come on, better than that, please. They continue through to Bolton. They play it across still. Work it across all over the shop at the back. Score 1-0. I like here. Hamer plays across to Victor early. He's onside. John King's in there. Go on, please do it. There it is. Oh, into King. Powell. Heads it. Keeper saves. I thought King was going to score his first goal then, but he didn't. Harlow's going to continue though. So Wilson's got it. He's going to go long. We should have to deal with this. Please, Husey. Sean as he gets to it. Then Hamer. We're going to travel with it with Hamer still. Plays it across into no man's land. That is awful stuff. We're going to get this back now. We are not. They're going to continue with it. They're going to have to go long eventually. Lock them in. Good lad, John King. Love that from you. Good, Joe Powell's won it. He's going to stay on it. He's going to cross us for Victor, maybe. I'm not sure he's going to go to with this. Deflected cross. It's... Oh, they've got each other's way. Penalty! Referee, that's a penalty! John King was all over the place there. Hello, here. John King gets it. He's going to stay on it. He's going to get fouled again, ref. Watch this, please. Victor goes up. It's, it's headed away. Keller Dunn gets to it. Back across. King! Oh, he's at the beans, Jeff! I don't believe it! Hello, here. Bolton play it in behind. Goalkeeper's going to hopefully collect that. Get the bloody out of the way of that is. Who is it? And who is this? Can't even click on him here. What am I? Keller done. Garrett, this space is here, mate. Oh, why have we done that? Um, okay, him a release it, please. Oh, Christ. King's got to win that, surely. Six for six. Oh, almost does. Smith, Powell. Plays it into no... By plays into King, but it was, wasn't great. But he's just not quite developed, is he, well enough to be able to make those... Those like... Oh, no, they're in. 
Good save. Yeah, those balls where they play and it's like a, an 80 20 in favor of the defender. He's just not quite good enough to send that into a 50 50 or into a, to a 60 40 in his favor. He, he hasn't got the pace, acceleration, anticipation, everything, aggression. He hasn't got all those things that he can do that where Victor can. So we can play like a percentages ball into an area and Victor can turn that into his ball, but I don't think King can do that, which is going to be his. Um, his negative. That's why I wanted to start him in this game because we're at home and we're in good form. So it was a good chance to try it out because we need to sort of learn if he's going to be able to do a job for us as we give away a penalty. And um, the next two games he won't start. He'll win the bench, but he won't start against the next two games. Uh, he won't start the next two games away from home. It'll be a winner probably as they make it 2 0. Okay, we'll say, show me something else in the second half. Yeah, so John King is uh, like, he's just not quite there, is he? Like, anticipation of five, acceleration of nine. He's just not quite ready, is he, to be able to play at this level. But, uh, yeah, he's worth a try, I think. I don't know what we're going to do here. Maybe we'll take him off, I think, in this game. Put Wendell on up front. And then take off. Oof, I don't know. A lot of players want to come off, by the looks of it. Bolton highlight. They're going to play across. Far post. Headed away. Smith's going to get to it. He's got a three. Potentially, oh, quickly. Could have played that bit quicker. Then Powell gets it. Plays it into. Lacking. Lacking. Plays early into win. A bit of a poor pass, really. Are they going to keep it in? They are. Powell's going to get to it, though. Plays it back to Shaughnessy. Basically got two CDMs on each side of the back three. Now, Victor, win up, goal, 2-1, come on. It's going to have to be Borthwick Jackson at wing back. There's not really anybody else, nobody else really to put in. Uh, Gilligan could come off, could he maybe? Probably not, actually. Could Butcher go CDM? Yeah, let's do that. Corner here, whipped in, headed away. Victor doesn't quite get to it. Borthwick Jackson does. Borthwick Jackson, don't you dare shoot. He has Gilligan. Gilligan has it. Don't know what he's going to do with this. Plays into Borthwick Jackson. Plays it across. Powell's going to get there. No, he's not. Keller done, please. Across. Oh, it's Clabbert. It's in. It's 2-2. Come on, boys. Comeback's on. I tell you, we've got a chance here winning 3-2. Real chance. Let's just see exactly what happened here. So we know what happened here, the, the Clabbert stuff here, but it's when he gets played across. Does the defender get to it or something here? No, Victor sort of plays this in. Oh, little double toe poke. Deflection. 2-2. Come on. I think that's going to end it. 2-2. Okay, we'll take a point. I mean... You know, we're still obviously just trying to stay up, to be honest with you. So getting a draw and being 2-0 down and coming back to get the draw are both good things. It's another point closer to safety for us. So it keeps us banging the table still. So all positives all around there for us. Okay, then training. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do a physical recovery, physical recovery, and then see if that's enough for the Mill game. And we'll, again, against Mill, what we'll do is we'll do two recovery, then rest, and see if that's enough for them to be able to play two matches or three matches in a week. Let's see if that does the job. Okay, so in a few days for the Mill game. Okay, going into this game, I did ask for three things. I asked for increased youth level. They rejected that. I requested for increased youth recruitment. They rejected that. But they did accept junior coaching budget increase. Let's just try and fight this temporarily. Um, suggest. Okay, can't afford to do that. Let's suggest this. Uh, convince. Okay. I don't want to fight this too much, really, do we? We don't want to get sacked or anything, so... Right then, so as you can see, after two recovery sessions and a rest, we've got Keller Dunn and Shaughnessy are both quite tired. And yeah, they can start the game, but like they're not 100% are they? Like these sort of like lesser hearts here, the one that Sam Hughes has got, that's about the least that I'd want. So it doesn't quite do everybody. So now do we have to do three the day after? Is that what we have to do here? Because against Mill right now, I think the day after the Mill game, we've got an actual bunch of sessions. So I'm going to do this right now. Let's make this triple recovery, and let's see if that does enough for us going into the game. It's Reading after this game. Anyway, let's get into this game. Same team, except for Winnell comes in for John King. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Assistant manager says, nothing to lose, okay. Corner for Millwall is going to be whipped into the far post-ish, headed away. It's come back down. Are they going to get a shot away? Hutchinson from edge of the area does. What a finish. 1-0 to Millwall. Although, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We come back all the time against teams. 1-0 down, 2-0 down. Have, have whatever you want, Millwall. We'll come back. It's fine. That's what we do over here. Garrett's got it. He's going to launch us, hopefully, to the left striker. Right here. 2v1. Right here, Garrett. Uh, this guy, what is he doing? Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Not quite. Okay, now it's going to get pinged in behind again to us. Okay, Smith's got it. Lacking brings it down. We're going to play from here. Lacking back to Shaughnessy. Can you go in if you want to? Gilligan, get across to your side. What are you doing, for fuck's sake? Husey whacks it into Victor, brings it down, plays it to Keller Dunn, who's going to have to take some touches. He is still learning to play wing back, of course. He's headed away. It's going to be Smith. It's going to be another extend a bit of highlight. What? What a finish from Victor. I thought it was going to be offside, to be honest, but like I'm seeing goals from this Burton team that I don't really see that often in FM. Like I'm seeing so many different types of goals all the time. I mean, what a ball this is from Smith, and what a finish from Victor yet again. Uh, let's just watch this. Wow. Is that like a Tacanio finish? Bloody hell, 1-1. One, one. 
I think what I'll do going forwards as well is actually like announce you at the start of the video what section we're in. So I know, of course, you can look up the you can look up the training plan yourself. It'd probably be good for you to know what exactly the players are working on for that exact period. So whether it's in possession, out of possession, what third it's in, just so you can have like a context in your head of what they're supposed to be training at that time. So when you're seeing the matches, you're seeing is there an improvement going into these this period? I mean, I could tell you what we worked on before as well. So I'll think about that maybe for for later in the season. Definitely for next season, we'll, we'll talk about like which, what section they just did before and what section they're doing right now. So maybe we can see the improvements of that in the game. Maybe not. But, you know, it'd be interesting, wouldn't it, to see. That's what we're doing in this series. Right, we all have the highlights. We went off them. Hamer just wax. I mean, Hamer, if you're going to play it direct, that's okay. You can hit the furthest forward play, but that was just nonsense. Victor gets it, travels with it, still travels with it. Is he going to shoot? Is he going to go through? Has Winnell just stolen it off his foot to, to score? This is not an England DNA, this. This is some greedy bastard stuff. This is Christ. Let's watch this. So Victor gets it. He does his best messy impression. So see you later, lads. I'm off. I'm off. See you later. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I can't believe he's just done that. Like, I can't believe he's... I still can't believe he did that. That's incredible. Has anybody else seen that before? If you have, let me know. I've never seen such greediness before in my life. He's lucky he wasn't offside when he did it. Because that would have been... I'd be infuriated by that. I definitely would have subbed him off in the game and in real life if he'd have done that and been offside. I mean, I'd be tempted to sub him off in real life for it anyway. That was a... Uh, oh, Hamer, what are we doing at the back? That should have been 2-2. Okay, Keller Dunn has it on the right-hand side. Plays nearly crossing. It's going to be headed away. Smith's going to get to it. Plays it across to Victor. Oh, it was nearly another one. Okay, we'll say... We'll say don't get complacent. Okay, Honeyman with the corner. He's going to whip this in. It's going to be headed towards goal. And I can't believe what I've just seen. 2-2. Two -two. Corner. Okay, let's take off Keller Dunn and put on Kamwa. And let's take off... I mean, can I take off Powell? Not really. Sean, I see off Butcher on. He's... Oh, maybe not. Maybe Oshilaja. And who else is tired? Hughes is a bit tired. Now we're going to start off with the ball. They can play it back. Can we get out to them? Can we win the header? Hughesy wins it. Heads it back down to Honeyman. I mean, oh no, he's not going to be onside, is he? Hid away. He's cleared away. He's headed. To, oh my Christ, that was close. Right, okay, let's make changes now. I think John King's going to go on up front for Winnell. We'll do that. And I think that Power needs to come off because he's just playing terribly. I don't want to put Bennett on there, really. Should we put on Carriol there? Yeah, let's do that. Got one more sub to make. Maybe Sam Hughes comes out and we put. Uh, Oshilaj in the middle, and let's put Borthwick Jack so at left centre back. Let's do that. Hello like here, Camwa. Please give it to King in the box. Get it to Carriol. Maybe not now. I was hoping for like a work it and cross it situation, but that isn't what's happened. Bennett's on side. Goes to 1v1 for Millwall. Is he going to score? Oh, is it too wide? That was so close. Hello like here for Millwall. They are absolutely battered us the last like 20 minutes or so. Hamer just whacked it clear. Camwa's never going to get to this. It's going to be another highlight for them. Is it Gilligan wins it? Plays it to carry all. Plays into victory. He's through one. Is he going to score? Oh, and he has. Come on. Come on, Burton. 3-2. I don't know how we're competing at this level. I have no idea. But it's 3-2. I just went to balance as well, as you can see in the little corner here. I've just got a bit more defensive, which I tend to do away from home. If uh, the result is what we want normally if we're winning. But this in this case, just drawing. He could have cut this back if John King would have gone through for 1v1. But that'll do. 3-2. Come on. I was going to leave it for like two minutes before I made the the full-on defensive change, but there's a highlight instantly. This could not... Oh, this can't be good news for us, is it? This can't be. It's Millwall. They built their attack. Victor's won it. Victor's won He's a beast. Oh, he's lost it. That's going to be their highlight, isn't it? Was it red? Got anything? Oh, come on. Give King a chance. Bless him. What's he going to do with that, Hamer? Hamer's starting to wind me up a little bit. He's doing this a lot. Like, more than other players in the back line, he seems to be just getting it and sending it into the furthest defender rather than our, towards our striker. And Gidigan's trying to get himself sent off. Oh, it's 3-3. Three, three. What are we doing? Last minute highlight. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gone long. Who's going to get to it? Hamer's got himself sent off. That'll do. Good lad, Hamer. Run of applause, please, viewers. That was incredible for Hamer. No more highlights. Have some of this, says Hamer. Good lads. As long as we do see it out, of course. Resulting corner. Everybody's playing pretty well in the attacking areas of the... Oh, fuck me. Another highlight here. I felt like we've been battered this game, but it's actually only 4-3. But I feel like we've been absolutely destroyed the entire match. They go through. Keeper's going to collect this. There's still This could be a goal highlight. There's still a long time left. I've gone ultra attacking or very attacking. We go long. John King, the new gen. I can't respect... Oh, he's hit row Z. Maybe row K or something. I don't know. Maybe not quite row Z. Right, 4-3 defeat. We'll say unlucky. It was unlucky. I mean, the fact that we're competing as well as we are is, is really impressive. And Mill are top of the league, actually. I just realised Mill are top of the league. That was a really good win for us. Uh, that was a very good performance. Sorry, it wasn't a win. We put our little adjustment into the schedule, right? We just put our double 
uh, a triple recovery session in. And let's see how we get on then for the game against Reading. I know we're not going to do this right now, but just so you're aware, I do think the players are responding pretty well to the training. Like, just looking through a few of the players, they all seem to be responding decently well to the to their training programs, which is which is good. I mean, even Smith's not declining, which is, a, you know, hallelujah. Right, okay then. So, in terms of fitness, has that helped? Again, probably not enough. Looking at that, I mean, Lacking and Smith's almost unusable for me from the start. I'm going to start because I've got nobody else, really, but could I, could I drop Lacking, maybe? Probably could drop Lacking, actually. Could we play... Shaughnessy at centre mid. Yeah, probably. Oh, even he's a little tired though, but not, not as bad as that. Let's do that and let's put uh, Oshilaj at centre back. And let's move those two around maybe. Go with that. And then Johnny Smith and Lacking can rotate at like maybe half time to both play wing back. Maybe we'll do that. Okay then, let's get into the game against Red and see how we go. Assistant manager says, go ahead and press me. Okay. Yeah, it's a slight problem, isn't it, going forwards? I need to find out a better way to make sure that they do or get their... Fitness back up for like two matches in a week or three. Um, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a bit disappointing because I don't want to have to keep resting them for like two days. Oh, keeper, you've got to get back there. Bloody hell, one already. Oh, I hear Keller Dunn throws into Victor. Victor the Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy takes a touch, plays it into Terry Taylor. Tries to play ball into Powell, but doesn't quite get there. Hughesy whacks out to Keller Dunn, who's all on his own. Takes a touch, deflected cross, keeper collects. This could be either... This could be any highlight still. Turns who gets the second ball. It's going to be us. This should be our highlight. Come on, Smithy. Win all that's not great, is it, from Smith? It was a pretty poor ball. Was it, is it still going to be ours? It could be. Powell, no. Morton plays it across. Oh, okay, it's got to be their highlight now, you'd expect. Oh, my Christ. Hughesy and Shaughnessy, what are we doing, lads? Powell ups it in. Headed away. He's going to get back to it, though. Powell recovers it. Plays it into Winnell early. It's a pretty poor ball. Shaughnessy gets tackled. We lose it. They're going to counter on us already, by the looks of it. I mean, teams, just got, teams in this league got so much better players than us, haven't they? Especially strength and depth. But Taylor now has it. Plays into Butcher, who just whacks it to 45 yards in the air. It's going to go through Winnell. Oh, and he's missed it. What? Oh, no, he's been blocked, actually. Highlight for Reading. It's played up on the right-hand side. Can we win this encounter, maybe? Don't think so. It's going to be theirs, isn't it? Puskas is in. 2-0. Not good. Another highlight for Reading. This could be an absolute disaster going into half time. They go in behind. We're going to win the first one there. They play it across... Is this going to be another defeat for us? It really could be, you know. I'm going to play John King, I think, at halftime. Let's give him some moments instead of um, maybe Victor. Victor's quite tired. If the game's gone, probably just play win on the right striker role. Give John King some more minutes. See if we can get him a goal. would be nice. Puskas goes through. Could have been three. I've had one shot going into halftime. That's really not good at all. As it ends 2-0 at halftime. Right, let's say show me something else. And then let's change two wing backs at left wing back. Uh, Victor probably could come off as well. Let's put John King there. Maybe even Sean as he comes off and Gilligan goes on. Do we do that? Let's leave that for like 10 minutes maybe. But that will probably happen as well because Sean is also very, very tired. Okay, our goalkeeper's collected it after a long ball. Where's he going to go with this? He's got 2v1 here. Come on, hit it up to King. Give it to King. There it is. There it is. He's won it. Taylor. Powell. It's worked. He's going to shoot. Oh, he's missed it by like 20 yards as well. We can't be doing finishing right now, can we? Gets up to King. He's trapped it really well. It's like a few good touches there. Can only release it? Good lads. Butcher, use him. Keller Dunner, can we get out here? Love that. It nearly worked really well there, the little patterns that we've got going. We've won it back. Winnell. King. King's through for his first goal. Oh, he's missed a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, made a load of changes. It's our first highlight after them. It's going to start off with Reading. If we can win this, there is like a 2v2 at the back here. And they're going to get to it first. They're going to score, though. 3-0 game over. And there you have it. So it's 3-0 to Reading. We're going to say unlucky boys. It was um, it was, it was, was a pretty good performance in the season so far up until this episode. Now it's really started to... You can see the volatility of the tactic in the team, right? Good start. First two games undefeated. Loads of defeats in a row. Two wins in a row, then a draw. And then two defeats away from home. I felt like we were in that game, but always... I felt like we were in the game because we always had a chance we could have won it on the scoreline, but we also felt like we were always like an arm's length away, like they were always a level above us, Millwall. And Reading, they just dominated us from start to finish. So it's interesting that, I think, away from home, we're going to really struggle to get points. Like, really struggle. So at home is the only chance, really. And I think you can see that so far a little bit in the in the early performances and results. We started the episode in 12th, we finished the episode in 12th, which is interesting. What do we learn in terms of the fitness? <sighs> We probably learn that if it's going to be two games in three days, that we might have to do triple recovery or at least uh, 
two recoveries of rest, then maybe even the first session on the next day has to be a recovery, or that session has to have two sessions, not three. I like to have three, so I'd probably just put another recovery in, but we'll see. That's the next test. I'll probably do that off camera is, yeah, so here, Blackburn and Swansea. What I'll do is I'll do the Blackburn game, and I will put a triple recovery on the Sunday, or maybe one rest, and then do a recovery the first session of the Monday and see what that does. And yeah, see how that comes out. See if that's any any better than what we just saw then. So in terms of next episode then, let's come back for the Fulham and Sheffield United game. One, we can review our sort of like six-month review of how the players have progressed this season so far. And also, because that's a Saturday-Tuesday game, we can test out our new theory on whether our new recovery system works in terms of getting the players fresh enough to play without taking away all the sessions. Because like traditionally what I would do here is just do two days of rest. They would do no training, which means they'd be fresh to play in the Sheffield United game, but they wouldn't do any training. So even if I can get two sessions instead of zero, that's two sessions more each time there's a three-day break between the games, right? So let's see what we do there, see what we can do. It's more the three-day games that I'm worried about rather than the four. The four, I know we could easily tweak that and it would be easier. But the, it's the three-day one that's the real dilemma to see if there is a way of doing it with my current tactics. My tactic, as you can see, is quite intense. So it's going to require more rest and recovery than than somebody else's tactic, maybe. So there is there is that. So we'll come back for those two. That's quite a few more games into the season. So we'll review the situation of the league. I think we could be in quite a relegation fight by then. It all comes down to the home games, really. That's where it's going to be won or lost. Us having a fighting chance this season comes purely down to those home games. So we'll see how we'll see how that goes. That's a new episode. Thank you so much for those of you that are watching and been part of this series. I really enjoy this series. I can't wait to see how the players develop and see if we can get players like John King good enough to actually play in the first team at some point soon. But that's going to do it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.